Hi, welcome to The Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we are asked to identify a rhombus. Here's our question. Which of the following shapes appears to be a rhombus? I'm going to ask you to pause and solve now. Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So we are asked to identify a rhombus. So let's review what properties a rhombus possesses. A rhombus has four equal sides. So let's start right there. We're going to look at our four answer choices to see which of these appear to have four equal sides. It appears to me that A indeed has four equal sides. So I'm going to label that. In choice B, that is not those are not four equal sides. We can clearly see that these parallel sides are longer than these parallel sides, so I'm going to rule out B. In choice C, same thing. These sides right here are not congruent or equal to the same as the parallel sides, so we're going to rule out choice C. Choice D appears to be a rectangle and clearly not four equal sides, so we can rule that out. So it looks to me, just by considering the first property of a rhombus, that our answer is A. But let's review the rest of our properties. A rhombus also has opposite sides that are parallel to each other. So we can see here that we have this side is parallel to this side. And we use arrows when you see a diagram, that would be what would denote that they were parallel to each other. And then we can see that this side is parallel to this side, and I'm going to use double arrows here because they're not the same. So the doubles are parallel to each other, and the singles are parallel to each other. So we can check off another property that works. And our third property here is opposite angles that are equal. So if we look at these opposite angles, they appear to be congruent, the same size, as do these opposite angles. They appear to be the same size. So I'm going to say choice A checks out with all three properties that are required to define it as a rhombus. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back again tomorrow and have a great day.